Okay, so in my last video, I showed how to make a cool multi-layering drum rack using all these impulses with MIDI chord things in front of them. And I showed it off on Reddit and I was promptly told that there's a, a better way to do this. It's a little bit faster and it's even probably a little bit more flexible than than mine. So I'm going to show that off real quick just so everybody's doing it the best way. As far as I can tell, this is the best way. Um, I'm going to give it a shot on my next production. Alright, so I'm going to pull in a drum rack to a new track and I'm just going to go straight to uh, my samples and say I like this snare and that snare and I want to put them in my C1 pad. So I bring the first one into the first pad, bring the second one into the next pad. Uh, open the rack up here and um, there's this IO key right here so I want both to be played when I hit my C1 key so I'm gonna tell the second one to listen to C1 now they're both playing and it has moved this one that was in this pad to this one which now says multi on it so the guy showed me that and I was like hey but you can't affect both of these at the same time because I can I can only affect one of them at the same time. And maybe this was dumb. I probably should have known this, but you can just group these. So that ta -da, I've got them in their own rack inside of here. So now I can just um, go ahead and drop a compressor or whatever I want to on both. So it's probably a few less clicks than the first method that I did. And also, um, pull these out and I can I believe um, this sampler has more uh, ways to manipulate your uh, your sample than the impulse pads do so you can get down and do more and I could even put effects on only one sample inside of um, on one layer of my drum hip so it's even you can get down and dirty even a little even more than the one that I had shown before so I think this is probably the better way to do it so